Hey everyone, I'm Paul Permalo. Welcome to my workshop. It's been a long time since I've done a video on my homemade drum sander, but I have been getting many emails from people asking me how long of a strip of sandpaper do I need to cover the drum? Well, it's very easy. Let's zoom in and I'll show you how to do that. And I'll take off the top so we get a better view of the drum. Now some of you are here to get a straight, simple answer. Fine. A drum this size, 4.2 inches in diameter, 19 inches long, I'm using 3 inch wide sandpaper, you're going to need a strip 96 inches long. That's 8 feet. Now for those that have a totally different drum size or are interested in calculating exactly how much sandpaper we're going to use, then we're going to get into that. It's going to require some arithmetic, including algebra and trigonometry. Now every drum is going to be different, so take your measurements carefully. First thing we do is take the diameter of the drum. In my case, it's 4.2 inches. Now we take the diameter and we multiply it by pi. Mmm, pi. No, not that kind of pi. The mathematical kind, which is roughly 3.14. So we have a diameter of 4.2 inches. Multiply that by 3.14. That gives us a total circumference of 13.2 inches all around this drum. Then we take our 13.2 inches, multiply it by the length of the drum, in this case is 19 inches. That gives us a total of 250.8 square inches of sandpaper needed to cover this drum. This is the roll of sandpaper that I'm going to use. It is 3 inches wide. Now, you would think that I would simply take my 250.8 inches of sandpaper that I need, divide it by 3 to give me a strip 83.6 inches long. But that would be wrong. And here's why. If everything was square, then a piece of sandpaper 3 inches wide by 83.6 inches long would work. But it's not square. We have to angle the sandpaper in order to spiral it around the drum. And that means we need to cut off a triangle. I'm going to take my sandpaper and feed it on the drum, keeping the edge of the sandpaper even with the end of the drum. And right where the end of the sandpaper touches this part, I'm going to make a mark. From the mark that I made on the sandpaper, I'm going to draw a line to the opposite corner at the end and I'm going to cut off this triangle. So if I had a strip of sandpaper 83.6 inches long and I cut off this part of it, well I no longer have enough sandpaper to cover the drum. I'm going to need exactly this amount of sandpaper at the other end. But how long is this? Well, this is a right angle triangle. And we're going to use Pythagoras' theorem to calculate the length of B. Pythagoras' theorem says A squared plus B squared equals C squared. We know what A is. That's the width of my sandpaper. That's 3 inches. We know what C is. That's the circumference of my drum, which is 13.2 inches. So, we now have 3 squared plus B squared equals 13.2 squared. We can isolate B by subtracting 3 squared from both sides. So now we have B squared equals 13.2 squared minus 3 squared, or b squared equals 
174.24 minus 9, which equals 165.24. But that's b squared. b is now equal to the square root of 165.24, and that equals 12.85 inches from here to here. We add that 12.85 inches onto the end of my 83.6 inch strip of sandpaper. That brings our total length up to 96.45 inches. That is absolutely the longest we need to cover my drum. So now we can take our sandpaper, line up the cut line with the edge of the drum. Now watch where this tip is going to go when we come around. going to line up perfectly and you're going to start scrolling. Now right where the edge of the sandpaper meets the edge of the drum I'm going to place another mark. That's going to be the start of the cutout of our second triangle. So the dot that I drew on the other end of the drum is the start of my identical triangle that I'm going to cut. So I'm going to line up this triangle with that dot, keeping everything lined up along the bottom, and I'm going to cut along the hypotenuse. Make sure you get the triangle in the right orientation. And now, as you can see, everything lines up perfectly. Well, there it is. Using mathematics, we figured out exactly what we needed. Thank you very much for watching my videos. Be safe, have fun, and we'll see you next time.